Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indie Ogle. And sorry about the delay in tutorials. I've, I was having problems with my computer, and my USB ports weren't working. So I couldn't use my microphone or anything like that. But obviously, that's fixed now. And what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is uh, we're going to be making vertical platforms. We've already covered horizontal platforms, so this shouldn't be too complicated, although it is kind of different. We'll open up the objects and we can just duplicate horizontal platform. And we'll name it obj underscore v platform. Okay, now we need to change the h speed to v speed. Okay. Now, uh, in the player, we'll add in a new event, collision with object v platform. And we'll type in Okay, so you might not exactly know what this is doing here. Uh, basically, since we're typing this code in an event where you're collisioning with uh, the vertical platform, then it's assigning the vertical platform to other. So basically, you can read it like this. Player vSpeed equals object vertical platforms vSpeed. So that'll just allow the player to move along with the platform. And Sprout Index, we've been over this a bunch of times, so you should know what that does. Okay, now in the step event. Um, this right here, the code that we've typed that is making the player look up or down or, you know, anything like that when he's in midair. We need to add a little bit more code to this so he's not looking up or down or anything like that when um, he's riding on the vertical platform. And it's very simple code. It's just this. Okay, so basically what that's going to do is it's checking if V speed is below zero and if. Um, there's nothing below the uh, player, one pixel below him. Alright, and I've already copied that. You can go on ahead and copy it too. And just paste it in all of the stuff dealing with uh, sprout changing in midair. Okay. Now we're done there. We can go back to the vertical platform. And in the object ground, collision with object ground, we need to add in uh, if place meeting. Okay, so. What this is doing is it's uh, checking if you, if the player is standing on the vertical platform, and if it is, when it collisions with the ground, then the player's uh, y axis is minus by four. I'll explain this to you when I start showing exactly how it's working in the game, you know. But basically, this is to keep the player from getting stuck inside of the platform. Okay. Now in the step event. <clears throat> this code might be a little complicated, but I'll explain it. Okay, so with object ball, if I haven't covered this before, 
then basically what it does is anything inside of the curly brackets here is applied to object ball. It's just so you can make other objects do different things inside of other objects, if that makes any sense. Uh, so this code here is applied to object ball, basically. So we're going to check if you uh, if the player is collisioning with the ground at uh, minus 4 pixels, which will be the top of him, collisioning with object ground. Then with object V platform, the V speed is set to 2. So we're just kind of uh, changing what we're coding here. Uh, we're coding the object ball and then we get down when we get down to here we're coding the vertical platform so this is just in case you don't have blockers for the vertical platform and you're just gonna let it go to the very top of the level which you might have blocks there this is to keep the player from getting pushed inside of the block and getting stuck there so when the player is riding on the vertical platform then if the player's top touches the ground then the v-speed is changed so he's not gonna get stuck okay now let's go ahead and add in the vertical platform okay now let's test it okay still getting stuck let's see if this is working yep okay so when he goes down to the bottom okay well it worked that time hmm let's see if this will work again okay so it's basically working I'm just gonna test one thing out here Okay, well, it's working anyway. Um, you could probably change. You could probably change this uh, four to a five. That should fix any bug that I had at the very beginning. But that is basically the vertical platforms. It should be working. If you want to add in blockers, it's uh, very simple. You just kind of duplicate this, but with whatever your a blocker object is so let's say we want to just use the enemy blocker we can just duplicate that collision with object blocker and you've got it set up then all you have to do is add in your blockers in the room then and when the vertical platform collisions with the blocker then it'll go in the opposite direction although in this you would probably want to remove this code but I'm not going to keep that anyway so that's the end of this tutorial, though, mm -hmm. and um, I'll see you soon.